Moving on with more stories, the rains have stopped in Durban, uh, but uh, it has left behind a trail of destruction. Senior Wazulunadal officials and the Etegwini mayor visited several areas across the city to assess the damage caused by the storm yesterday. Heavy rain, flooding and storm winds wreaked havoc over Wazulunadal, leaving at least eight dead. City hospitals have been the worst affected. The roof of King Edward Hospital in Durban collapsed following the storm. Uh, the hospitals that suffered damages include Addington, King Dinuzulu and Wentworth and Prince Mshieni Memorial Hospital. The strong winds knocked down trees and power lines and caused outages in several suburbs of the south coast. Several schools, homes and buildings were also flooded, causing walls to collapse and windows to break. It's going to be what we call the mid-term adjustment budgets, where we are going to get and request allocations to departments, uh, again, with regards to what are the issues that were not probably well budgeted for as we start the financial year. So the Department of Health, uh, Department of Education, and Department of Transport have been specifically requested in the next two days, which is today and tomorrow, to complete what they think is close to an accurate report of what damage is, is like uh, within their facilities. Yesterday's storm was quite unprecedented in its ferocity. As, may, as many as eight fatalities have been reported and many community, communities have been rendered homeless and some people are still missing. Many people's lives have been interrupted by displacement, power outages, and severe damage to both public and private infrastructure. In addition, schools and hospitals have experienced serious interruptions to their operations. Most schools were disrupted by yesterday's storms and pupils had to be sent home early. A total of 42 schools were gravely affected and the breakdown per Department of Education district is as follows, Ubu, 12, Umlazi, 24, King Kajwayo 4, Pine Town 1, and Umkungunlovu 1. Plans are underway to ensure that pupils from all affected schools will be able to sit their exams as per the set schedule.